Firefighters put their lives on the line in many ways, and that includes putting themselves at risk for exposure to certain cancer-causing carcinogens. In fact, the World Health Organization deems cancer as the leading cause of death for firefighters. And that's why the month of January is dedicated to firefighter cancer awareness. This morning, we have two very special guests who are passionate about prevention. LA City firefighter and paramedic Daniel Chavez and LAFD firefighter Derek Irwin he has dedicated his PhD in chemistry to studying the topic. We will discuss some of that research shortly, but first I want to thank both of you for being here today. It's an important message you want to spread, you know. Uh, Daniel, you are a cancer warrior and now battling some difficult rounds of chemotherapy. Can you tell us about your journey into the fire service and when you discovered uh, you had cancer? Well, yes, thank you for having me. Um, I was coming off a treatment off, uh, on Thursday, so uh, forgive me if it doesn't flow, but uh, I started in the fire service when I was a young, uh, a young teenager actually, <laughs> volunteering, and then I progressed through Cal Fire, mm -hmm. worked for Cal Fire for 10 years, and now I've been with LA City for about seven years now as a firefighter paramedic. I work in downtown LA mainly. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer uh, on J July uh, 19th of 2022. Mm -hmm. um, the tumor was so big, it, it was already the size of a plum. Yeah. So they had to do uh, some surgery right away. They removed uh, about 12 inches of my sigmoid colon. And um, I've just been, uh, from there, you know, I, well after surgery, now I'm going through the chemotherapy because it did progress to my lymph tissue. Mm -hmm. um, I just, uh, you know, my, my whole thing lately has just been getting the message out and spreading awareness for guys because a lot of guys in the field, they don't think it's a reality for them. I'm only 38 years old. Yeah. Um, so it, it came as a shocker to me and my family, but you know, it's been a, it's been a rough road, but um, the guys at the fire station, you know, not only at my firehouse, but at other firehouses, Downey mm -hmm. Fire, um, LA City Fire, they really, um, they really took care of me, mm -hmm. you know, because you know, once my workman's comp got denied, it was it was rough, yeah. you know, but they made it to where I didn't have to feel worried. They took care of me. They started a fundraiser. They made a T-shirt for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm wearing it right now. I don't yeah. know if you want me to show it. It's right there on your chest, Team yeah, Chavez. Yeah, and it's on, on the back, too. It made a pretty cool design. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the whole thing is just right now is just spreading awareness to the guys in the field and letting them know it's a reality, you know, and yeah. to get screened, get checked, you know, even no matter it, when it, when it really hit me was when I was becoming very tired. Mm -hmm. I just kind of chalked it up to the job. I was just running so many calls, mm -hmm. you know, so, but. Well, I know you're going through rounds of chemotherapy right now, and it's amazing the strength and resilience you are showing uh, by being here. Um, yes. It's simply amazing. And we saw those pictures of you with your brothers and sisters who are now supporting you in this battle. Let's go to Derek now. Derek, this topic hits close to home for you as well. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, I lost my younger brother Isaac to leukemia when he was just 33. And uh, when he was going through his treatment and after he died, it was my brother and sister's from the LA County Fire Department that got us through those tough times. Yeah. And so once things quieted down a little bit, um, I wanted to understand the mechanisms that cause cancer. You know, I wanted to understand why my brother uh, got sick and passed away. Um, so I also wanted to do something to give back to my fire service family that had done so much to, to take care of me and my family uh, when my brother died. So uh, I went back to graduate school uh, at UCLA to study chemistry and uh, specifically how chemicals in smoke damage DNA and increase cancer risk. And now as an adjunct professor at UCLA, uh, I work with other researchers and we study uh, the exposures that we have in the fire service uh, in order to understand the uh, biological effects of those exposures and also to develop preventative interventions to reduce cancer. Now, Derek, let's go to that research. Let's talk about that. How and why are firefighters at a higher risk for cancer? Yeah, so there's an organization called IARC, the International Agency for Research on Cancer that classifies carcinogens. So that's mm -hmm. things like chemicals or radiation that we know uh, cause cancer in humans. And in July of last year, IARC actually classified occupational exposure as a firefighter as a known human carcinogen. And the reason for that is when we go out and perform our duty, when we fight fires, when we go on EMS calls, we're exposed to a whole host of chemical carcinogens, mm -hmm. uh, things like 
chemicals in smoke, uh, diesel exhaust, uh, shift work with sleep disruption, and the list really goes on from there. And the problem is those exposures cause cancer-promoting biological effects that come in the form of uh, DNA damage, mm -hmm. that cause DNA mutations, uh, epigenetic changes, and other mechanisms that increase our risk for cancer. So we have to, wherever possible, reduce our exposures while always, you know, we're, we're firefighters. Our job mm -hmm. comes first. When we're called, we're going to go and fight fire. But we have to do whatever little bit we can to keep ourselves healthy while doing our jobs well. Yeah, this really hits close to home because it affected your your biological family as well as, you know, you want to do this for your fire family as well. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, Derek and Daniel, thank you both for being here and sharing uh, your message. This is so important. Now, we want to share this with you as well. If you're a firefighter wanting more resources or know someone who needs to get connected, the International Association of Firefighters and the Firefighter Cancer Support Network, they have a team of people to help you. You can find their information on our website, kcalnews.com. We'll have much more news right after the break. And again, Daniel, Derek. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing your story and this important message. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we'll be right back.